Are you having a hard time connecting with your teenager? Well, let me tell you, I have two teenagers and sometimes it's so hard to get them to put their phone down, to come out of their rooms, to talk to me. And if I ask them to hang out, forget it. So how can you do that? Well, today I'm going to share with you the number one step on building that relationship with your teen to get them to finally put their phone down, to actually talk to you, to engage with you. So it isn't easy to crack into the world of teens. And if you need more support, make sure that you sign up for our weekly tips that come directly to your inbox at championyourparenting.com slash yes. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Lisa Edwards. I'm one of the coaches at Parenting Your Champion Your Parenting, and I help you raise healthy, confident kids. And every video, I'm going to give you one step that you can implement immediately to start feeling confident in your parenting and to have that peaceful home. So today, I'm going to help you through that first step in building that stronger relationship with your teen. You want to hear it? Let's get started. That number one thing that you need to do to build a relationship with your teen, show them that you care. Now I know you're probably thinking, I do it all the time. I make dinner for them. I drive them everywhere they need to go. I'm always giving them what they need. They know I love them. I say that. Well, we're going to show them and we're going to do that in three easy steps. The first step being light up when they're in the room. Too often, we get carried away in our parenting duties in what's happening in the now, and we forget to do this. So, you know, when your child comes in the room, if you're on your phone, if you're cooking dinner, if you're on the computer, you need to stop. You need to look them in the eye, and you need to say, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, it's great to see you this morning. Have a wonderful day. I love you so much. Making that eye contact saying that how much you love them, lighting up, smiling, giving them your energy. That is step number one. The next thing that you want to do is that you want to talk to them about what they actually are interested in. So too often when my kids get home, I say, oh, how was your day? How was school today? Kids don't care about school. They don't want to talk about what happened at school. They want to maybe talk about what's happening with their friends or if something funny happened. They don't care about math class or language arts at this time. So you need to talk about what really interests them. And I'm telling you, I've had lots of conversations about Dungeons and Dragons, about Minecraft, about what's happening with this person or this person. And I know I don't really care, but my kids do. And so I'm going to show them I care by talking about that and by showing interest in what they're doing. The last thing that you can do to show them that you care is physical touch. Make sure that you're hugging your children every day. And if your child isn't ready for that hug, touch their shoulder, touch their arm, their hands, give them a little physical touch every day to show them that you care. So if you focus on these three things, you will show that your child that you really care, light up when they're in the room, talk about what interests them, give them some physical touch every single day, and you watch how your relationship blossoms start today. And remember, if you need more support, make sure that you get it delivered directly to your inbox every week. Sign up now at championyourparenting.com slash yes.